Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Hope everyone is fine and welcome back to the garden. Today I decided I need to harvest my Coco de Pampol beans. I'm determined to get the best quality beans, so I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so here we have our beans. That's how they look like. I think that's the stage of the ripeness you're looking for. The bean is turning yellow with the purple, purple blotches. And inside you're gonna get lovely plump beans. So wait till your bean is this color and then pick it. You can obviously grow them for the dry beans as well. But I think they taste much better when they are picked at this stage and used up or frozen. Green pots like this are useless. I can feel there's not really any beans inside. But it's getting too cold at night, they're not gonna grow anymore. So I'm gonna pick all of them today. I'm actually quite surprised with the amount of beans I'm getting. I've planted those plants after harvesting potatoes. So they didn't have that much time to grow. But that just goes to show you it's never too late to try. The worst thing that could have happened, I wouldn't get a crop. I can see a few pots got damaged by the slugs, but that's only a couple of them so far. Okay, so the bean harvest for 2024 is finished. There's no more beans of any kind. But I think that's quite a decent harvest for semi-dried beans. The only thing to mention while you're harvesting them, if you're harvesting them at this stage, remember they won't store for long, so either eat it or process it. I would recommend just freezing them. Just peel the beans and chuck it in the freezer. They are not ripe enough to dry properly on their own. And also if you're growing beans and you want to save your own seeds, remember to leave a couple of bushes to ripen properly and dry on the plant as well. That's where you're gonna get the best quality seeds. So thank you very much for watching this very quick video and I'll see you next time. Bye!